everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empower here, and in today's scroll saw project video, got a nice little Valentine's Day heart project to do, designed by Steve Good. Valentine's Day is right around the corner here in a couple weeks, and this would be a great little project to get you in and out of your workshop to make for your significant other or loved one. And I think it'll be a great little project. I've got the pattern printed out full size and got it attached to a beautiful piece of cedar really love the grain on it and it's kind of the same on the flip side and I've already got the pattern attached with clear packing tape it's basically called infinite love it's got the infinity symbol through it the sideways eight and then two hearts and then the word love in it this was some one inch thick cedar that I milled down on my new craftsman planer that I unboxed recently and milled it down to a little less than three quarter inch thick but we're going to cut this out over on the scroll saw and then we're going to take this piece over to the table saw and make a base and then glue it together. But right now let's head over to the drill press, drill our pilot holes and get started. And over here on the drill press we are drilling all of our pilot holes for internal cutting. And then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and I started with the word love. The trickiest letters to do here were the E and the O because of the little pieces that hang out to make the letters legible and the O was really tricky and I had a little bit of chip out when I got to the O and got it cut out but that was okay with me because after sanding and all it didn't take away from the overall project. Just if you can slow down your scroll saw and take your time cutting out the individual letters. I am using number five ultra reverse shark tooth scroll saw blades and they are cutting through this cedar extremely well. I think the cedar is a great wood for a Valentine's Day project and I really love the grain texture of this piece. And speaking of Valentine's Day, my great grandfather was born on Valentine's Day. If you guys would like to try this pattern for yourself, it is available at Steve Goods Scroll Saw Workshop .blogspot .com website as a free pattern download over in the pattern catalog. Now over here just getting the final two internal cuts before I begin the final cut which will ultimately release the piece from the wood and if you guys like what you're seeing I would encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content also follow me online on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate links to that will be down in the video description on our final internal cut here back in and put tension on it and begin the final cut which will release the heart from the wood really enjoyed cutting this piece out coming around here we're about to finish the piece and all the scroll work for the project will be done. There we go. And now we're going to head over to the work table and take the piece out of the waste area and sketch out a base for it to cut out over on the table saw. And here we are cutting that out over on the table saw, just a simple rectangle base for the heart to stand on. Now sanding with 100 grit sandpaper and the palm sander and using small circular motions to sand everything. And of course more sanding will be done off camera. And now back over to the workbench we're using Gorilla Wood Glue to glue the piece to the base and just two spring clamps to 
hold everything together and I let this dry for around an hour and then I came back and removed the clamps and then the project was complete. And here we have the completed Infinite Love piece. I think it turned out real good. It cut extremely smooth over on the scroll saw. The cedar wood always cuts extremely well over on a scroll saw with it being a softer wood. I always encourage people to wear their dust respirators. I had mine on. You just couldn't see it in the shot where I had the camera placed. I think it turned out real good. It even sanded up real smooth. I've done some more sanding off camera to get rid of some of the fuzzies on the inside of the cut lines. But I think it turned out real good. And I know once I add the clear coat outside that it will make the grain pop and make the project stand out that much more. But we're at a stopping point right now. Um, if you're going to cut this out, keep in mind it is kind of fragile with the narrowness of the heart and this heart and then some of the details in the letters. Just take your time with it and the project will come out just like this one or maybe even better. But I think it turned out real good. Another nice up close look at it. I hope you guys like the project. I enjoyed making it. It took me around 30 minutes to cut it out start to finish. But then I had to glue it up and wait for the glue to dry. So all in all I've got about maybe two hours in the project. Something that can get you in the shop, out of the shop just in time to give your sweetheart or your significant other a amazing handcrafted Valentine's gift. I hope you all like the project. Remember guys, if I can make it, so can you. I hope you all have a happy and safe Valentine's Day 2020. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.